The indictment against Burrell Ellis is just the latest in a string of corruption allegations involving DeKalb County leaders. Channel 2's Amy napier Viteri continues our live Team 2 coverage at the DeKalb County Jail, where she saw Ellis leave tonight. Amy. Well, we pulled up to the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office just in time to see Ellis walk out of those doors with his attorney. They walked quickly to where an SUV was parked, right here actually in the spot reserved for the sheriff. Now, they drove off without answering any of our questions, but his indictment is the latest in a string of problems for DeKalb County officials. We had the only camera there as DeKalb County CEO Burl Ellis quickly got in the backseat of this SUV in front of the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. His attorney, J. Tom Morgan, got in the front seat. Neither would stop to talk with us about the indictment as they drove off quickly instead. Tuesday afternoon, DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James announced a 15-count indictment against Ellis, including felony charges of extortion and theft. It's the latest in a series of issues involving county leaders. Earlier this year, the governor removed six of the nine DeKalb County school board members on the recommendation of the school accrediting agency, SACS. Several of those board members maintain they should have their positions back, including Dr. Pamela Speaks, who represented herself at a reinstatement hearing Thursday. Did you ever share with me any specific concerns of any actions or conduct? Doctor, well, Dr. Speaks, I think one of, the, one of the limitations, quite frankly, professionally, in my opinion, is that you fail to understand your duty as a board member in carrying it out. Then there's former school superintendent Crawford Lewis, scheduled to go on trial in October for racketeering charges. A 2010 indictment alleges he and two others manipulated contracts for school construction projects. Lewis told us he did nothing wrong. We're looking forward to the day when we're able to move forward and I can prove my innocence. Hours after his own indictment, Burl Ellis is also declaring his innocence. Now, if the state does take action to suspend Ellis based on those criminal charges, he would be the seventh DeKalb County official to be suspended in just the past few months. We're live at the DeKalb County Jail. Amy Napier-Viteri, Channel 2 Action News. Nightbeat.